Grand Rising, everybody. Grand Rising, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel, liking my videos, commenting on my videos, as well as following my other page on TikTok at JTheGoddess1. If anybody on here would like to follow me over there. This is going to be a general reading this morning for my Capricorn Nation. So if you are a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or any node in your birth chart, this is the reading that you would like to tap into, okay? Now, guys, please keep in mind that these readings are general, meaning that these readings could resonate with you completely, just a little bit, or maybe not at all. If anybody would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by clicking the link on my TikTok page, or if you're watching this video from YouTube, I have that exact same link posted down in the description box below. We're going to go ahead and tap into this energy and see what messages that spirit has for you guys. Spirit. What is the energy surrounding my Capricorns? Show me clearly what these Capricorns need to know. Thank you, spirit. Impatience. Somebody's here is being impatient about something here. Somebody's also experiencing some rejection of some sort. This rejection could be from a job or this rejection could be from someone. But just the same, you're experiencing some type of rejection to the point where you're growing impatient. What spirit needs you to know right now is that spirit's rejection is your protection. Okay? So whatever this was that you were rejected from or whoever you were rejected by, spirit wants you to know right now that it was for a really good reason because it was not meant for you. Spirit, tell me more about this energy surrounding Capricorn, please. Show me clearly what does Capricorn not see coming and what do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you need to stop thinking and let things happen, okay? Let it go. Let it go. They rejected you, so what? Let it go. There's better things to come, all right? Stop thinking and allow things to happen. Stop thinking and making yourself impatient and just allow things to happen for you. Spirit's timing is perfect timing. Divine timing is perfect timing. All right? Just let it flow. Spirit, tell me more about this energy surrounding my Capricorns. What does Capricorn need to prepare themselves for, Spirit? What do they need to know? Thank you. You see that for some of y'all, you've been feeling impatient because you've been getting rejected in, uh, in your love life, in your dating life or something like that. People keep doing things to reject you or something like that. But what you don't see coming is that there's somebody that's getting ready to come into your life that is not going to play about you. This person won't use you for recreational purposes. They won't use you for sex or money or hidden benefits or anything like that. Okay, so just hold what you got. Spirit, what else? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. I can't make this shit up, Capricorn. You see that somebody here? You're getting ready to be gifted with something. For some of y'all, this is this success in love that you're getting ready to be gifted with her. Somebody's going to get highly recognized at work about something, okay? You're going to be highly recognized at your job for something that you do. And you're going to receive a reward. Somebody here is just being impatient right now. Okay? What Spirit wants you to know is that you're going to get a pay raise at work. You might think that nobody's paying attention to how hard you work on your job. But they are paying attention. They might not let you know that they're watching. But they're watching just the same. And you're about to be rewarded for your hard work, Capricorn. You're about to get some type of raise at work. Some type of high recognition at work. For somebody here, there's a reconciliation coming towards you there's somebody from the return from there's going to be the return of a lover somebody from your past or this could be an old friend or something like that but just the same there's going to be a reconciliation here okay you're going to be gifted with something and also there's going to be a reconciliation there's some big changes coming into your life as well in the near future capricorn okay somebody's life is going in a new direction somebody's life is getting ready to change in a tremendous way here somebody's also getting ready to reload to relocate you're getting ready to move out and get your own place or you're getting ready to relocate into a bigger and better place your life is going to make progress for the greater good here. Somebody here is also, this change that's coming into your life is going to bring a change of view in your life. Okay? It's going to give you a change of heart. Somebody here had a change of heart about something here. There was one decision that you decided to make, but then there was a change of heart that you had. And you decided, you decided to go against that 
decision that you made previously here. Okay, for somebody, you're going to be changing jobs. Like I told you, be patient. Somebody was getting rejected from jobs. But the reason why you were getting rejected from those jobs is because the right job for you, the perfect job for you is on its way in the near future. You're getting ready to change jobs and it's going to be for more money, higher pay and better benefits in a better position. All right. Yeah, somebody got some sad news coming. From somebody here, this person that was your sweetheart, that's the person that wants to reconcile with you, okay? This person's going to want to come back and reconcile with you. This person, you got some bad news about this person in the past or something like that. You had to experience the inconvenient truth about this person here that you thought was your sweetheart, okay? This person disappointed you emotionally um, and just all the way around the table, okay? And now this person's going to be coming back to reconcile with you. Spirit, tell me more about this energy surrounding my Capricorns, please. Show me clearly what do you need Capricorns to know. What do they not see coming, Spirit? What do they need to know? Thank you. Yeah, so we have bees here. So somebody in your past could have been dealing with a Virgo here. This person was not very sweet to you. This person was very uncooperative with you. Um, they didn't want to work on this relationship. They weren't dedicated to you, focused on you or this relationship. Here, okay? They refused to make this relationship a priority in their lives. Here, okay? And you were rejected by this person because this person had a very non-committal energy here, okay? And so you got impatient with this person because this person wasn't trying to commit to you. The only person that was in love in this relationship was you. But what Spirit wants you to know is that you're going to have a new relationship coming towards you hmm. spirit tell me more about the energy surrounding capricorn please clarify gifts thank you yeah so we have fox here for some of y'all you could have been dealing with a scorpio in your life that wants to um read reconcile with you but you have to be very mindful of this person i keep seeing the number 14 i've seen the number 14 in my head three times already i keep seeing that number but just the same this person is still sneaky they're still a liar they're still gonna come back and try to charm their way back in this person's a fraud they're very manipulative and this person is still having hidden intentions. The only reason why this sneaky fox is coming back into your life is because of the benefits that they had when they was in your life before they got kicked out of it. All right. So just remember that this person rejected you. So before you think about running back to this person with open arms, you remember how this person rejected you. You remember how this person walked away from you and you had nothing and you needed somebody. And when when you were there for them, how they weren't there for you and rejected you when you needed somebody and when you needed help. All right? Don't forget that. You see that? Spirit's going to remove that person out of your life again. You already separated from this person once. You already broke up with this person. This is Spirit warning you that this person is going to come back and reconcile her. And they're going to abruptly cut you off again after they get what you want. Somebody here is pregnant. You could be pregnant by somebody that's a Libra or maybe an Aries or they could possibly be a Capricorn like you. But just the same, you're pregnant right now. You could be pregnant by this toxic ass, sneaky ass, lying dog, whole ass person right here that's going to try to come back and reconcile with you. But just the same, you already separated from this person and you stopped talking to this person already. You see how you got the stork? This is about pregnancy. So this is somebody that you pregnant by that you no longer talk to anymore. Clarify change, spirit. And I'm also picking up that somebody had to change your heart with their pregnancy here. Somebody decided that they was going to keep their baby or something like that. Clarify change, spirit. Thank you. Yeah, you see that? You have the sun card here. This change is going to be good. It's going to bring you a lot of success and happiness in your life here. Somebody's definitely pregnant. I can see a little baby fetus on the car and literally here. You're going to have a very positive outcome to your life, this pregnancy and these changes that are coming into your life. And for a lot of you, these changes are going to bring you a lot of good fortune and a lot of success. So your future is looking very, very bright for you right now. 
um, Capricorn, okay? Your future is looking incredibly bright for you. It's looking incredibly bright for you right now. So if you've been worried about your life or you've been worried about what's going to happen or what's going on with this baby and if the husband or if the baby daddy going to be there, all this stuff, stop worrying yourself. Stop worrying yourself because everything is going to be fine. You have the sun card. That's like the literally the best card that you can get out of the whole entire deck. Spirit says to stop, let stop thinking and let things happen. Okay? You overthinking this. Spirit, tell me more about this energy surrounding my Capricorns. Show me clearly what this Capricorn needs to know, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah. What is that noise? Spirit, what else? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. So we have, oh, so we have the King of Wands in reverse, the King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I can't make this shit up. I done told y'all. So we have the Two of Pentacles here first out. Somebody here has been feeling a lot of imbalance in your life. You've been feeling very, very overwhelmed with what's going on in your life. For some of y'all, this is pregnancy and stuff like that that you're dealing with. A lot of you guys are overwhelmed with money worries. There's a lot of disorganization in your life. You're not having the energy for meeting new challenges. These new challenges that you are having is with money for some of y'all. For others of y'all, is finding out about this, these new babies that y'all are pregnant with. You're, you're feeling very disorganized right now. Okay, Your finances or your funds may be coming in slow and it's making you start to get afraid thinking that you're not going to have enough. Okay, Somebody's also having some issues here with the romantic partner or somebody in their business. Uh, somebody here is having issues with a person that they're in romantically involved with or with somebody that they're involved with business wise take that as a resume but just the same you're having problems with this person over money okay and somebody here is dealing with a king of wands in reverse a king of pentacles in reverse okay and these are both not good okay somebody here is dealing with somebody like i said that's going to want to reconcile with you this person is very thoughtless and negative okay this person is also a very narrow-minded person they have a very negative type of mind and a very negative type of attitude. They're very controlling and very manipulative as well as domineering, okay? This person dismisses the efforts on your part of what you're trying to do in this relationship, okay? This person doubts themselves. This person is very unsuccessful. So this person don't have no job, no money or something like that. This person is very insecure because they don't have any success and they're very unsuccessful in their lives. This person is also very greedy at the same damn time. So you're dealing with somebody that you used to deal with that you either dealing with this person still right now or you used to deal with this person and they're coming back. Take it as a resonate. But this person is greedy as fuck. They All they want is money, 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 money. But they don't want to get up off their ass and work for no money. They just want the money, to, somebody to give it to them. They want somebody to take care of them type of shit. Okay? And this person may be very inconsistent because they procrastinate a lot. And they doubt themselves. And that's the reason why they procrastinate a lot. This person don't even believe in their damn self hurt. Okay? This person is also being guarded about their they finances and stuff. So this person might lead you on and make you think that they have money, but they're really broke as fuck because they have bad, bad money spending problems and they don't want to really work for shit. They lazy than a motherfucker. They don't like the work. Okay? And this person is also very corrupted because they don't like to work for anything. This person has betrayed you in some type of way, either right now or in the past, okay? This person made you feel rejected. This person made you feel very left out here, okay? A lot of y'all might got family members or friends that really don't care too much for this person here because they don't like them for some reason, okay? They don't like the way this person treats you. They don't like the way that this person makes you feel emotionally. With this three of cups here, somebody also has you in a third-party relationship or they had you in a third-party relationship in the past and that's the reason why you rejected them and walked away from them 
which is another reason why trickery is here as well, okay? This person is fucking with your self-worth as well. You have self-worth here in reverse. This person fucking with you and your self-esteem for some of y'all. That's not going to be for everybody, but that's for somebody, all right? And this person caused you a huge disappointment with the current outlook on things and the current outcome on things. That for some of y'all, y'all pregnant by these people. For some of y'all, if you still dealing with this person or you were dealing with this person, this person got somebody else pregnant. And that's the reason why you had to let go and walk away. But with this queen of swords over here in the near future, this is about you standing in your own independence, okay? You're going to cut away what no longer serves you in your life, whether it's a person, a relationship, a plan or a habit or a job or whatever the case may be, okay? I can't make this shit up, okay? You guys are going to be coming to a sudden understanding um, about a whole lot of things and getting a whole lot of clarity on a whole lot of things here, okay? Clarify Queen of Swords Spirit. I mean, uh, Two of Pentacles in Reverse. What does Capricorn need to know? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is going to be an ending to your troubles with this person here. You're going to get peace and relief from this person here as well as any difficulties that might be transpiring in your life. For some of y'all, this is going to be an ending to your troubles because you're dealing with a King of Swords here. This person could be a Libra, an Aquarius, or maybe a Gemini. But just the same, this person is ruthless as fuck. they crude in the motherfucker. They have an inability to see what's right there in front of them. And what I mean when they say that they have an inability to see what's right in front of them, this is what I'm talking about. This person has a lack of sensitivity and emotion towards you. And this, this could lead to cruel intentions. Okay? Some of y'all are freeing yourselves from that. There's going to be an ending to that shit in your life. Spirit, what clarify this King of Wands in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse, and this Three of Cups. Why are they here? This is that person that I told you is going to reconcile. For some of y'all, you deal with these people still. If you are not dealing with this person anymore, this person is going to come back. With the same old bullshit that they had going on the first time. Show me what it is that Capricorn needs to know. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Like I told you, this person is very lazy. This person is very unreliable. This person is a liar. They're dishonest. They're inconsistent. They don't put forth no type of effort to do anything else. They have literally succumbed to procrastination. This person is just downright lazy and broke as fuck. And that's the reason why they can't get no fucking word in life. Because they fucking sorry. And they want everybody else to take care of them and everybody else to look out for them and make sure that they good. Good. And that's the reason why they ain't getting nowhere in life with their finances or just or anything like that. Yeah, this person is just a damn right bum. You got the page of cups at the bottom of the deck in reverse. You're frustrated with this person. This person is emotionally immature. They got a they got a real they have real trouble with expressing themselves positively because they're so negative. This is a very immature energy. So this person could be old and act very immature or very young-minded. Or they could be a young person. So if you're dealing with somebody that's not young, they're very young-minded and they're very immature. They need to grow the fuck up. Okay? For some of y'all, this could be a child that you have. This could be your teenager or this could be your child that's giving you all these problems right now. But for others of you, these are people that you was in a relationship with. But with this five of pentacles in reverse and this nine of pentacles upright, you guys are going to be getting relief from whatever financial stress or whatever financial issues that you've been having. Whatever type of financial hardships that you've been having, they're coming to an end, okay? There's going to be some type of new source of income coming here that's going to emerge, possibly from some type of very surprising place. But spirit wants you to know that they ain't forgot about you and your ancestors are here and help is on the way, honey. If that help ain't already came to you, baby, it's on the way and it'll be here shortly. You will tap into success. Okay. Your self-confidence is going to go through the roof. You're going to experience prosperity because this prosperity is well arrived and you're going to be enjoying the new rewards of your hard work here. Like I told you, you work hard and you think that they, nobody don't see you working hard. But them people at your job, baby, they see how hard you working. They're just sitting back and observing. That's what they're doing because they're looking for a new supervisor or somebody to fill a new position for a higher up, making more money, and they're considering you. They're watching you like a hawk. You just don't know they're watching you like a hawk. So keep doing whatever it is that you're doing because it's going to bring you some success here with this nine of pentacles here. Your hard work is going to come. It's going to pay off. A lot of you guys are going to see a return on your investments if you are business owners here. All that time, that effort, and money that you've been putting in, that blood, sweat, and tears, and that hard work. 
It's going to pay off. Get ready to experience an unexpected boom, baby. It's on the way. Success is assured to you with this nine of pentacles here, okay? You're going to be enjoying some self... Somebody here is self-employed, and you're going to be very prosperous with, with this business that you have. With this devil card in reverse, Capricorn, this is you. This is you going to be detaching yourself from all the bullshit. You're going to be standing independently, and you're going to be healing, and you're going to be overcoming all of this stress and anxiety and this imbalance in your life and these money worries and, 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 and men in fear that you're not going to have enough, honey. You're going to be free from your problems, okay? You're going to be free from your problems. And once this person spend the block on you and come back and you reject them the way that they rejected you or you finally reject the person that you're dealing with, that's when you're going to see all this stuff. Clarify the Queen of Swords spirit. Thank you. You have the strength card in reverse here. This is about somebody feeling weak. I told you this is about somebody's self-esteem being low. This is about somebody doubting themselves and not having no confidence in yourself. And you letting fear, doubt, and anxiety and your low self-esteem paralyze you. Okay? You have exactly the strength that you need and exactly what it takes to overcome every obstacle that you're going through right now. Okay? You just got to stay in touch with yourself in spirit and be patient with yourself. Because this impatience that you have, this hurry that you are in to try to hurry up and be great is what's putting you in this energy right now, Capricorn. Be patient. Stop being so impatient and just wait a minute. Hold what you got. Stay prayed up. Stay connected to spirit and wait. Spirit is going to work everything out for you. Okay? God's rejection is your protection. All right? So just hold what you got. Clarify strength in reverse, uh, please. Spirit. Thank you. You have the magician in reverse here. Somebody's dealing with somebody that's very manipulative and greedy here. Okay, this is also about trickery. All right, and somebody here, you need to get yourself into a spiritual bath ASAP because the magician in reverse is also about somebody doing dirt work and trying to do spell work on you to stop you and make your life stagnant and, and stop you and block your blessings, okay? So if uh, somebody needs to take a spiritual bath, if you don't know what that is, get you a white candle, get you some sage, get you some dead sea salt and some coffee and you run a tub of water, you mix that shit up in there and you sit yourself in it, you like that white candle and you sit off in there you bathe and wash yourself down and you soak no more than 30 minutes and then you get out the tub if you don't have a bathtub and all you have is a shower then you take some black coffee some dead sea salt use the instant coffee now you don't need to brew it or nothing and then you pour that shit off in a jug or something and you pour that shit all over yourself and you wash yourself with that and get out and air dry whatever you do do not dry off the coffee bath let it air dry so it can seep into your skin so that you can protect yourself and your energy from these people trying to put this dirt work on you. I don't know who these people are, but for somebody, these people are the reason they're trying to cause financial failure in your life. They're trying to cause loss and family conflict and issues with your home and your family and your partner and stuff like that because these people are jealous of you and they envy you and they envy what you have. They envy who you are and your energy. They just don't like you. You know, you just bring out the demons in some of these people. And it's not nothing personally that you do. It's just some people is just evil and jealous. Spirit, what else does Capricorn need to know? Show me clearly. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you have DNA here. So somebody here, you're pregnant by somebody and they don't want to claim this baby. They're talking about they want a DNA test. They don't think that they're the father or something like that. And for others of you, the DNA card is here because, like I told you before, your ancestors are here. And they're here to help you. And they're not going to play about you, okay? You're covered. But still dip yourself in that spiritual bath. You need to do something to cleanse and protect your energy from these people. Thank you, Spirit. A lot of you guys are going to be saving money right now. You're trying to be as fugal as you can right now. You're trying to save something for later for a rainy day because you're thinking that you're not going to have enough. But Spirit said that you are going to have enough. You will have enough. Clarify sun spirit. Thank you. Yeah. When this person comes back around, spirit is saying that you need to make yourself unavailable for this person. You need to deny access and close that path, okay? Because spirit already done threw up a barrier from this person in the first place by making this person exit your life. Didn't I tell you? God's rejection, baby, is your protection. 
When you was rejected by that, this is what the, this is what God was doing. Locking it down, throwing the block up, protecting you from this shit. Okay? Because it's something better in store for you right now. But for some of you, this person that wants to reconcile with you, they won't be able to because you have this person blocked off your phone, your social media. You've closed that path and threw up a barrier for this person. So they won't even be able to reach out to you anyway, even when they try because you blocked them, which is actually good because this person is only going to come back around you with the exact same thing. Spirit, tell me more about this energy surrounding Capricorn, please. Show me clearly what do they need to know. What does Capricorn not see coming? Thank you. Yeah, fluidity. I can't make this shit up. Stay flexible and adaptable, Capricorn. Keep an open mind about everything that's going on around you and go with the flow, okay? And be teachable because this is spirit coming through to teach you some valuable lessons about people and stuff like that and coming through to bless you. Hold what you got. Your ancestors are here and they're not going to play about you, all right? Fluidity is also meaning things coming in, flowing in. So there's going to be a lot of blessings flowing in for you as well. What else does Capricorn need to know, Spirit? What is the message? Thank you. Yeah, I told you. This person had you in a third-party relationship. Okay? This person that you was dealing with, that you had to walk away from, or you feel rejected by, this person had too many people involved. This person had you in some type of love triangle. And now this person's watching you and watching everything you do. And for some of y'all, what I'm picking up is that the person that's trying to do this dirt work on you, that's trying to put these spells on you and use this magic to try to make your life a living hell, is that third party that they was fucking with. That other person is hot and bothered and bitter and angry because they person was sleeping around with you and got you pregnant. Because what I'm hearing for somebody that's pregnant, you were the third party in this relationship. However, you were un you were not you were unaware that you was the third party in this relationship. You didn't know that this man had somebody else at home. You didn't know that, okay? Until you got pregnant and then this bitch called your phone or something like that. Whatever the case. Somebody had a Barbara This is Shirley moment. Okay? And if you know, you know. So, yeah. Spirit, what else does Capricorn need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, we have business. I told you, a lot of you guys have businesses out here. You're going to see a return on those investments that you made for this business of your own. Okay? That career move that you made is getting ready to change your life in a tremendous way. Okay? For some of y'all, this was your dream. Your dream was to be a business owner. And Spirit is letting you know right here, right now with this sun card that it's going to happen for you. And you're going to be very, very successful with it. Even if you have a career. Because the business card is about work and entrepreneurship. So somebody made some type of career moves or some type of entrepreneurship move. But just the same, you've been working on your career. And you've been working on your success. And you're going to be earning a whole lot of money and success through your hard work. I told you guys, don't be impatient. You see that? You got some good news coming towards you. I can't make this shit up. Somebody's going to get a message via phone, text, phone call, email. Somebody got something to say to you. Somebody wants to communicate with you. For some of y'all, this is that person. For others of y'all, these are jobs and stuff like that. You see that? You guys are going to be relocating. Somebody's getting, getting ready to move into a new home of their own, a bigger house, a nicer house. And for some of you, this is going to be your first place, This your first apartment or your first place living on your own. You're getting ready to relocate into your own home just the same. I told you guys, your angels and ancestors are here with you, baby. You are divinely guided. You don't have any fucking thing to be worried about if you find yourself worrying and you watching this video right now and you find yourself worrying about shit and getting overwhelmed and thinking that you ain't gonna have enough money or you not gonna make it come back and watch this video come back and watch this video because this is spirit letting you know right now that that hey i got you i'm not gonna forsake you i'm not gonna leave you Shit might not look the way you want it to look right now. Shit might be looking funky right now, but it's going to get greater later. I promise you, you got a very bright future ahead of you. Spirit says so. All right? Just be mindful of that. Don't waste your time worrying. Stop running over here asking God to help you do this and asking God to help you with that. And then you stay to turn around worrying yourself to death. When you worrying, you're not having faith in spirit. When you worrying, you're not having faith in your ancestors. 
You're not having faith in them. The only thing worrying is going to do is prolong your blessings. That's it. Let's put some advice. Spirit, what advice do you have today for Capricorns? Thank you. Uh, what the fuck did I just say? Keep your faith. Don't lose your faith, man. This is now is not the time for you to not be having faith in spirit and your ancestors. Now is not the fucking time. All right? Have faith in the universe. Let it impress you with this magic. Enjoy this beautiful journey. Enjoy this beautiful journey. Happiness. Didn't I tell y'all? I can't fucking make this shit up, bro. I don't go around just pulling cards out my ass and making up shit. This is directly from spirit, all right? Spirit letting you know you're going to have happiness. Positive energy is flowing all around you and within you. Stay optimistic. There's a, there's a lot of good coming your way. I'm going to put that right there so y'all can see that. Go on and pause the video and make sure you read this. Go on and pause the video and make sure you read this. All right? God got y'all, man. Thank y'all so much for watching this uh, reading. And if you did like this reading, go ahead and click that like button for me. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for your girl. All right. If y'all was feeling this um, video and you got something out of this video, go ahead and drop a yellow heart down in the comment section for me. Y'all feel free to comment. I like it when y'all comment because they let me know that y'all seeing this and, and stuff like that. So feel free to comment, man. Don't be afraid to do that. I hope everybody has a beautiful rest of the day. I shame.